Hello and welcome to Gamer Social. My name is Matthew and I'm here and let's play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lord. In the last episode we did some stuff and in this episode we're going to do some more stuff. So, nothing in there. Oh well. Can I get in there? No, apparently not. So let's start um, having a little wander around these areas. And um, there's a corpse here that ha apparently has something in. Some credits. Yeah, that'll come in handy when I start buying some stuff that I don't need. Which will happen at some point, I'm sure. Anything in here? Got a first footlocker. Let's um, switch out to our thing and we can jab this thing open. Thank you very much. Heavy battle armor. I don't think I can wear. I can always try. I cannot do it because I'm not that type of person. Shame. But I can give it to somebody else or I can sell it for money. Depending on which is the best to do. Hello there. Medical officer, corpse and stuff and medpack chemicals. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, oh, no, what? Look quite mangled. Must have been the way gas that went off. That one's not usable either. All these foot lockers, you can't even get crap out of them. Darn it. Okay, I think... I can probably not get in here. I can try, I suppose. Try and jab it. You needed to blow up with a mine. I do not... I don't know. I have no mine. I'm afraid. I'm not a mine person, so I can't do crap onto that. Oh well. That's all we can do there then. So on to the other side. As we continue. Oh, you have some remains for me. Thank you very much. I missed that. Heavy shield in Mark 1. That will come in handy, I'm sure. With something at some point. So what's over on this side? Any more enemies that I need to attack? Yep, you. Flurry him to death. Oh, one shot. Kill. Good stuff. Any remains for me? You got nothing? No? Okay. Into the door. Into the door? Yeah, why not? And broken lock terminal. Repair. Scavenge the console for components. Yay! I got some bits and pieces. Hey, why not? Comes in handy, doesn't it? Foot locker. I can break into this one. Break it. There we go. And I got a nice Durastil underlay as well. Nice. Shame I can't get into that broken door on the other side. That is a shame, but oh well. Not much I can do. And... Oh! Mind Foreman Log. This holo log looks like it needs to be plugged into a holo reader in order to play about the contents. I will do that. I can go back to that other thing on the other side. And watch what it has to tell me. Jab. Yay! Sonic Rifle and some more chemicals and stuff. EP. Yeah, hello there, officer corpse thing. Doc officer log, another one, nice. This whole log is blah, blah 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 blah, same as the last time, so I can go plug that in. Credits! Have it there, nope. Gotta keep looting. Gotta keep looting. Damaged door again, I can't get in there either, can I? No. Blow up with a mine, and I do not have any mines, do I? I'm pretty sure I don't. No, I have like bombs and grenades and stuff, but I haven't got any mines. Because I can't pick them up. Because I'm not that sort of person. Anything in here, of course. Uh, yeah, whatever that does. God knows. It might be something I can um, do some upgrading with. Anyway, let's head over to the other side because I have two more holologgy dbd dbd do things that I can use to get some more information. And for some reason my thing is flashing. I don't care. That says my inventory. Why is that flashing? I don't care. Anyway, come on. Then. So I've done the mine administration. I've got to insert mine form and log. And let's do much trouble access entry thingamajiggy. Work report. It has been two days since the broken Jedi came to facility. Work efficiency is down and fuel is backing up in vents. Waiting for processing. Uh, the, uh, the flight frequency increases. Corsair and his crew think we should take the Jedi and split the many credits by selling Jedi to Exchange. Try to convince me to join them. I want nothing to do with Exchange. They are like big, violent family that do terrible things to outsiders who deal with them. But Corsair does not care. In my mind, it is better letting a Jedi go wherever a Jedi wants to go. When Jedi get mad, they start big wars and set galaxy on fire. Nice. Talk of Corsair failure. 
I had a careful, inoffensive talk with Corsa and asked him to not make trouble with the Jedi. I reminded him we were ordered to leave Jedi, Jedi alone and we should follow orders or facility fall apart. My words have much sense, but Corsa would get all angry in human face. Then said the facility is going to fall apart anyway. After talk, I listened to him talking to the maintenance officer on comm. They got him to smuggle the Jedi off and blah blah blah. blah. Why do they do this? I'm thinking of repeating this to the administration officer, but that will cause more trouble, cause more inefficiency. What do I do? Don't know. Uh, must take action. I heard last call and talk from Corda to Mason's officer. Mason's officer said he had a big plan for disabling station, leaving us all trapped here while he and Corda escaped with Jedi. I'm still afraid of Corda, who is big, loud, and unreasonable. So I went to the Mason's officer, who is smaller and more sensible, more solidistan. I asked him why he would make trouble with Corda. Can we frame longer, must. Oh dear. Oh, punched him in the back. Your ears always were too big, CN. Come on, if the maintenance officer comes through on the explosions, these dorms are going to be filling up soon. And shut that damn data pad off and throw it down the refresher. Cool, I skipped a little bit of dialogue on that one, but there we go. Not to worry. Um, let's insert Doc Officer Horolog. And evacuation. We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console has been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. Ooh. Force. No. Fuel depot force field. The situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level, and we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. Okay, distress transmission. Manage to use the hollow transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragus facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. The messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? God knows. That's awesome! Check for transmissions, have I done that already? Transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Ah. Code is a simple... Cool. That's all I can do at the moment then, so... I think I've still got to find some more stuff, so I know there's going to be enemies coming up, so this is switch. I think I've got to do some more of those shooty droidy thingamajiggies, those ice things. But we'll soon find out either way. I think there's more through here, yeah there is, okay. Let's quickly just change to a sonic rifle. Let's see what a sonic rifle does, screw it. Go, 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 go! That was crap. Keep trying. Nice. Oh dear, oh dear. Shoot this thing first. Shoot this thing up here. Shoot him. Yeah, that's it. Shoot him. It's, it, I could just slice him down with my vibro blade, but apparently that's not gonna... Oh, but yeah, that did the trick. <laughs> Yay, next thing. Shoot this thing as well. As a... Hang on a minute, fella. Now try. That's it. You're a little bit closer as well. Do it. And again. Come on, keep going. One more go. One more shot. You can do it. Yay! Well done. Did I see remains around this minute ago? Yeah, I did over here. What have we got? Some crap. Yay, so now I can switch back to my normal uh fiber sword. Fiber blade. Fiber sword. Fiber sword. Give me. And that is how that is done. Any things to loot around here? Nope. How about over here then? Anything of... Hello, let's just leave those alone for... Ooh, pause on myself. Let's go into the lag corridor. 
and open up this, see if it's, it's, it's locked. Are you serious? Hold on. I need demolitions. Darn it, oh well. Okay, let's go fight this thing. Flurry, flurry, flurry! There's only one of them at the moment, from what I can see anyway. Oh, you're almost dead. Don't you dare try and put me to sleep. I just leveled up. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, over here, okay. Fair enough. And. What's going up down there? I don't know. Take him down! Good stuff. Let's go over and fight the other guy then. There we go. I think what I might do, since I'm leveling up, I might actually change and give myself a demolition skill so I can start picking up. What the crap? It's blowing up behind me. I have no idea. Take this thing down. Yay! Let's level up. So, skills. If I put demolitions up by one and persuade up, then I can start getting some stuff because I can pick up bombs, I think, in theory. Who knows? So, feats. What should I get for my feats then? Uh, ba -da -bum -bum. I can get advanced to weapon fighting. Yes. Let's do it. I want to start using two weapons. Powers. Should I use... There's not really much else I can do at the moment, so I think maybe I should just use burst of speed. Except that. And now, let's see what happens now then, if I start using a, another blade of some kind. So let's go and try out my idea and see. Well, first of all, let's go through here. It's a security door. Apparently, I have some mines as well. So I'm just going to jab it open, because that's easier. Oh, hello. Hold on. Hold, wait, 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 wait. Flurry. Yeah, I don't know if two weapons... I can't decide if two weapons are better or not. I mean, I'm... Well, I did a pretty good job. Maybe it is better now. See, that did a pretty good job as well. And let's switch out again. Jab this thing open. Thank you very much. Any more? No. You got some remains, though, which is very nice of you. Thank you. Another one here. Let's open this thing. Jab. Nice. That might come in handy. Never know. Anything else? Nope. Right. Let's go and try and pick up some of this stuff. Then I, not um. Oh, yes. I can use a sonic mine. Let's try. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll try it anyway. Boom. Did it work? It did. <laughs> Christ. It did it. Yay. Let's head back a minute then and try and find a place that has some more mines that I can um, grab some of the stuff because I'm going to start running out of all I should pick them more, here's some so hopefully I can now disarm these mines and pick it up uh, yeah, recover it hopefully I won't fail I shouldn't fail yeah, it worked cool, I have an extra mine that should be all I need then because I got two doors I think to blow open. So hopefully I can do it with the mines that I've got. So let's soon find out. Actually let's go over this side first. Let's try this side and see if it works. You never know. You never know. Here we go. Blow up the door please. Run away. Kaboom. It works! Yay! There we go. So that would do then, just like one level of, um, you know, one level of demolitions will do the trick. I might have to increase it later on down the line, but I want to be able to get all these areas. It's quite cool. You get some nice little items if you do. And that's what's important. But most of my skill points will be put on to, um, Persuade, I think, and treat injury. Because persuade, because I'm light side, I, you know, I want to try and be nice and stuff. And sometimes you have to persuade. You definitely have to in the first um, Knights of the Old Republic game. So I'm guessing it's going to be the same in this one. But who knows? Trial and error. Blow up. Yippee! Footlocker. Good stuff. 
Anything else around here? Nope. Oh, what was that I just saw? Nothing. Fine. Anyway, let's switch back to my blades. I don't need to go in there. I need to go over here. And... Let us head over here. So, back to where we were then. And we can carry on. Now that I managed to get some nice little goodies. Awesome, this way. So let's start off by going over here. Let's start doing some loot. I know there's quite a few bits and pieces over here as well that might come in handy. Let's open this door for starters. There might be some enemies here. No, apparently not. And oh, we have some survival kits. There's some chemicals. Storage. Open up, please. Oh, a breathe mask. Nice. Oh, a mess hall lock. I swear they're never going to get around the fixing to fixing the ventilation system, and if the food processor processors back up again, then next time the fumes start floating the missile, I'll be dead rather than just nauseous. I'll keep the breath breath mask here just in case we have to have a repeat instance, blah blah blah. That might come in handy, I suppose. Might need to use the mask to breathe and stuff, but by the sounds of it, that guy still died anyway. Hang on a minute, there's another one here. Yay. Dooby dooby doo, thank you very much. And we have a lab station, so um, use lab station now. We can create med packs. Nice. Yeah, let's make one. That'll do. And get a combat implant as well. I haven't got enough parts. Fine, or whatever. Skill maybe isn't high enough, so I don't know. I wasn't didn't really read it. Not to worry. More chemicals. Open up, please. Uh, more remains down here. Good old bits and pieces. What is down here? A corpse with an agronym grip. That might come in handy to upgrade one of my swords, I think. But, um, not that I'll be using the swords that much longer, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get a lightsaber again soon. Hopefully, not as uh, long as it took in Knights of the Old Republic 1, because that took quite a few episodes before I managed to get some- Oh look, I got another one. Got another lecture about contraband that their security hasn't started doing spot checks on our quarters yet, so my cachet in the lower bunk in my room in the Eastern Dormitory should be safe. Who don't even know it's there unless you, you look for it. So it's the Eastern Dorm. We can go get some special items. But that'd be fun. So let's have a look in here. Before I head back, and you got another log, another hollow log. So I have to go back now because I got some bits and pieces. Corpse, yes please. So I go bring that back again to that other machine so I can play it. I still bits and pieces there. Awesome. So let's go back, get that that um that those that, 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 that um I know what I'm trying to say, but I'm having a bit of a stroke at the moment. Um, get that guy's um, special items. Put that holo thing in the machine, and then hopefully we can get out of there. Um, east. Yes, it said east, I think. Possibly. I think it was the top right one. I think it's the one we had to bash down the door. Possibly. Yay, hidden compartment. And we didn't really get much, to be honest. <laughs> Pieces of crap. Nothing special at all. Never mind. Better to have something crap than nothing at all, I suppose. There we go. I'm a half full kind of guy rather than a half empty. There we are. Almost made it back to the machine. But that is all we have time for this episode. I will see you in the next one as we listen back to some more of these hollow readings and see what other information we get. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you then. Need to kill these things. Yay! Blow all up! Here we go.